Washington Football Nation, this video is for you. Welcome to the Talking Sports with Manny YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, please like, please subscribe, and please share this content. So, wanted to continue with my camp battle series, and this video today is about Cornelius Lucas versus Samuel Cosme. Obviously, the football team drafted Samuel Cosme, who was really a left tackle in college. But now coming into the situation where we have a Charles Leno to play that left tackle for this season, I can see a scenario where Samuel Cosme could edge out of Cornelius Lucas to start at right tackle and then maybe transition to left tackle in 2022. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it. So when looking at Samuel Cosme, he's six, uh, six seven. He weighs 314 pounds, uh, arms 30, 33 inches, hands 10 and one fourth inches. So this guy is big. He's massive. You know, he repped 36 uh, uh, reps at the bench press in his pro day. And he also ran a 40 of 4.85. If this was in the combine, this is the fastest time ever for any player that's at least six, seven or taller. So the dude, the dude has speed, man. He has speed. He has athleticism. But when you hear the scouts and when you hear about all these different people describing who Samuel Cosme is, they always say that his bend is average. So he needs to work on the bending of the knees. Uh, he's, you know, super athletic. He's super fast. He's strong. Um, there was a play that he had where he caught a screen pass. And that screen pass went at least 15 yards, if I'm not mistaken. So Samuel Cosme is a very, very athletic um specimen you know what i'm saying so when you look at cornelius lucas um he's six eight so he's tall he's tall um you know he's 29 years old so he's fairly fairly young he's at a good age um also he's been in the league for quite a while but uh, he's two he's 328 pounds so he's a massive massive human being six eight 328 pounds that's massive um, he's been in the league for quite a few years, since 2014, where he played for the, the uh, Detroit Lions, uh, played for the Rams, then New Orleans Saints, then the Bears. The Bears is where he kind of flashed a little bit. I remember him being matched up versus uh, the Dallas Cowboys, uh, Lawrence, and he did pretty good against Lawrence. And that's kind of when I knew, like, you know what, this guy could be something. So he, so he came to us in 2020, you know, had a decent season. And last year, he really came into his own. Um, I remember uh, he took over for that uh, left. He took over that left tackle position in week seven when Jerron Christian got hurt versus the Cowboys. He came in and started the next two games. Then he was forced to leave uh, in the second half in week 10. Then uh, he came back uh, later on, a couple games later, and then finished out the season as the left tackle for this squad. So, you know, he played decent at left tackle. And it was kind of good that he was coached up. Uh, I love our coaching staff and how they're able to, to use these players. So, But my question for you guys is, do you guys think that Cornelius Lucas wins that starting position? I mean, he does have the experience. Experience is something that's key, especially with offensive linemen. Now, we didn't draft Samuel Cosme at 51 just to not play him. So that's a unique situation. That's a unique uh, um, you know, storyline. God forbid, if something happens to Charles Leno, you can now move Cornelius Lucas back to left tackle and then let Cosby play that right tackle. So it's kind of good to have players that can play multiple positions. So um, they're definitely going to uh, groom a Cosby to make sure he can play that left and that right. You know, Charles Leno is that guy. Left tackle is much tougher. You're playing against the best defensive lineman, the, the best uh, uh, edge rushers in the NFL every single time. So um, I'm liking – um, how we can ease him on in. But my question is, does Samuel Cosme start week one? And that's the question. That's the battle. This is the battle of all battles because I love Samuel Cosme's uh, uh, athleticism. Just imagine him on a screenplay and, you know, Antonio Gibson is running to the right. I mean, that just bowls well. This guy is going to be able to maul so many people. He's going to be, he's going to be able to pancake so many guys. And he can get upfield and create more plays. So I'm really, really intrigued by what Samuel Cosme can bring to this football team. But at the same time, we know who, who Cornelius Lucas is. We know that he's a steady, uh, a steady hand, a veteran presence. And I think that Cornelius Lucas can become one of the better swing tackles 
in the NFL. So whether he starts or not, he's still a valuable asset. You know, he can come in and spell Leno. He can come in and spell Cosme if Cosme was to win that job. Uh, my prediction is I think that Cornelius Lucas wins that right tackle position um, just because of experience. Now, that doesn't mean that Samuel Cosme can't take over as the season goes on. So, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm really interested to see who you guys think wins this battle and why you think this particular player wins this battle. All right, guys, this is the video. I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.